All right, here I am again, the great Indian Heaven Wilderness. Should be the Indian Heaven Trail right there. Was it the best decision to come this time of year on a day like this? Maybe not, but I really needed to get out, so I'm doing it. Wish me luck. Got uh, some fishing gear packed up for an overnight. Gonna try out that new tent that I got and a new Outdoor Vitals sleeping pad that I got that I didn't alert anybody about, but that's fine. You don't need to know everything that I do, do you? So, all right. I'm going to truck on out there and, uh, I don't know, maybe get to Lamai Lake. We'll see. All right. I'm going to go fill out a permit and get moving. There's coral. End of the woods? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's a like pit. I'm trying to complain about uphill less than I normally do. I complain about uphill a lot, normally. <clears throat> There's been nothing but so far. For like a mile. I'm dying. I'm soaked. Which brings me to something I wanted to say. If you want to adventure here in the Pacific Northwest, you either embrace the wet or you stay inside most of the year because you're gonna get wet. This uh, fleece or whatever is soaked through, but I didn't put on my rain jacket because I would be soaked through regardless from sweat. Doesn't make any difference. It's better to leave something dry to put on when I get to camp. So I've got a down jacket in there and my rain jacket. I can throw over it. Oh. Look here. Season is pretty well over for these guys. Look at that. I'd step off the trail for a second. Uh, I finally done going uphill. Still a little water on my lens, it looks like. It's all right. I saw this meadow on the side of the trail. Could not resist. So, 1.7 miles of solid straight uphill for an hour. I'm glad that part's over. I'm wet. I'm seriously out of breath. Oh. But things are flattening out. So I'm gonna keep on moving.
Look down here. Amanita muscaria. So there was one other car in the parking lot when I showed up. And I just passed a couple heading out as I was coming in. So I may very well have the entire place to myself now, which is cool. It's kind of what I was going for. I mean, it's late September on a Thursday. You don't really expect to see too many people out in a place like this anymore. So, looking forward to a little bit of solitude. Should be nice. I've desperately been needing it lately. Things have been stressful. Am I still interesting to you guys by myself? Or am I more interesting when I'm with other people? Answer in the comments. But you don't have to answer right now because the video is not over and maybe I haven't done anything all that interesting yet. You know. So Come to my first side trail, going to Deep Lake. Came a little earlier than I expected. This is that meadow I was looking down at from up there. Blueberries galore. I thought these would all be gone for sure, but just the leaves are gone. There's still a bunch of berries. Um, here's the trail that I've been following. It still continues on. There's a creek right over there. But according to the map, the lake is actually supposed to be up there, and I'm not on the trail. So I don't know what this trail is now. Ooh. Pack my bags for the Misty Mountains. Where the spirits go now. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to turn around. And uh, if I don't see Deep Lake, I'll live. But I think I took the wrong trail. <clears throat> so I'm going to head back up and see if I can spot the right one. You little buggers. When is your season over? I'm going to get stepped on if you're not careful. Western Toad. Anyway, moving on. Legs are absolutely soaked because of this undergrowth. Should have worn gaiters. Uh, but I didn't. Okay. I'll get back to you. Well, I think that answers that question then. I was not on the right trail. So, through the fog over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's water. I think that's, uh, what the heck was it? Cultus Lake? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check out Deep Lake real quick.
that is an Amanita specimen right there. There you have it. Deep Lake. There's a lake. It's presumably deep. And it's right there. You can even kind of see it. Oh, probably go to places I need to take a break. Have a lunch. Yeah, probably high time. I didn't even have breakfast. I've just had coffee and water so far today. Probably isn't helping my uh, stamina any. I don't have too much further to go anyhow. lunch. Uh, got everything packed up and um, going to continue along. Oh, got cold sitting here. Oh, soaking wet and everything. Good though. It's uh, about 45 degrees. But a low was supposed to be 37 tonight. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to snow. Which, it's not quite cold enough for it to really do its thing, so... It might be kind of gross, but... Is what it is. <clears throat> Alright. Back to the trail. Still got to take a quick look at Cultus Lake and then head on down to Lamaya Lake. I can't remember if there were any others along the way I was going to look at or not. I have to double check the map. Uh, anyhow. Angel Wings. Yay! Been seeing some uh, bark stripped off of trees and things like that, you know. Usual sort of bear sign, but it's kind of hard to tell if it just kind of fell off on its own or what was really going on. But here, we finally have some real confirmation. And, uh, man, look. That blueberry right there didn't even digest. Cool. As hard as it's raining, this probably isn't even very old. Oh. Nice to know I've got friends. Case in point. More angel wings. If I was closer to my camp, I'd grab some. I don't have a foraging pouch or anything. It's one of those things I've been meaning to get and I just haven't gotten around to it for whatever reason. I'm on Amazon for like 26 or 27 bucks, it's not like it's going to kill me. Oh well. Seeing a lot of these tracks along my trail in the mud here. You now you can tell from looking at it. Let me get a pointer here. No claw marks. And that wide pad there. This is not a canine, people. This is a very large feline. Feline. Cougar, mountain lion, puma. They're out here too. 
it's all right. Just, uh, you know, check your six every now and then. See, nobody back there. They're really nothing to worry about. I've never even actually seen one. I've seen their tracks and their poops. So this is where the Indian Heaven Trail continues and branches off to the My Lake Trail, which is where I'm fixing to go. All right, so there's the trail I just was coming off of, and holy shit. Cool. God, I love it up here. And nobody's even mowed this. Can you believe it? Her care must be exercised because that's the trail. That's like two feet deep right there. So I'm walking next to the trail for now. Okay, so um, my first bear encounter just happened right there. Just heard a crashing in the brush. Saw a big black thing coming through there. Hey, bear. Bears are friends, aren't you? Where'd you even go? God, they disappear so fast. And oh my God, that distracted me so much, but I just remembered because uh, a little bit back the trail, I found some bear's head tooth, which I have in my arm pocket right here. It was just a little one, but I decided to grab it because I didn't want to miss the opportunity. So, bear's head tooth, bear. Good trip so far. Oh, that was cool. Wish I could have captured it, but... There wouldn't have even been anything to get. It was so quick and fleeting. I didn't even see an entire bear. Just coming through the brush. And I'm starting to consider the possibility that I'm going to have blue jay for dinner. <sighs> yeah. All right. Let's, uh... Take a look at this meandering creek. You can tell the water level comes up a little more than that. That poor bear. He got way more scared than I did. Oh shit! Did you see that one? Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, yes! You had to have seen that. You had to have seen that. Meandering creek. You can tell the water level comes up a little more than that. That poor bear. He got way more scared than I did. Oh shit! Did you see that one? Look at him go! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, he's out here grazing on the blueberries. Yes! Oh, so cool! I need to watch where I'm walking. I don't need to go holler in yo bear or anything. They know I'm here. Clearly. I don't know if he ran up a tree or what. 
Did you go up a tree? Raven. Only regret is I had it on a super wide angle. Maybe I can crop it and post or something. Get a better look. Oh my God. Oh, that is the sort of therapy I needed. Oh. <sighs> Well, they're not in hibernation yet, which I was a little worried they might be. Yes, that's right. I was desperately actually hoping to see a bear. It may seem strange to a lot of you, but wildlife is a part of nature. You either love nature or you don't. I still got to find a campsite. I need to figure that out. <sighs> okay, I'm pondering decisions right now, so I don't see any clear campsites anywhere around here. So, I'm not really opposed to just pitching my tent here, but there's no fire ring or anything, so maybe I just use my solo stove instead. So then the only issue that leaves past that point is where the hell do I hang my food bag in a place like this where the trees don't really have branches. So I definitely need to hang my food bag this time. I've fudged it in the past, but this is a situation where it's necessary. I do like the idea of being in this open area here though because it's clearly windy and I really don't want to be anywhere where a tree is going to fall on me. So all of this stuff from a fallen tree I ran across earlier just to have something for my stove. tonight and I'll have to just go find more. I'll figure out what to do with my food bag. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Mentioned it was windy. So, uh, yeah, phone fell in the lake while I was setting up. In case you were wondering what that was. Changed into my dry down jacket. Feeling much better. I'm gonna poke around and find some more wood. Now I do have some tinder in my backpack, but I've kind of developed this theory about that. If you can't get a fire going with the materials in your environment and a ferro rod or lighter or whatever, then no amount of tinder in the world is going to help you anyway. So, I don't really rely on it very much. I don't think I got these feathers fine enough to catch with the spark, but I'm going to try it.
It worked. Ugh. Trusty ferro rod. So, I've got a line in the water. I don't know if it's going to do any good or not. I don't know if I'm in a deep enough part of the lake with it, but whatever. I took and I broke up my bear's head tooth and dry sauteed it a little bit. Now I got some water going to go with four cheese risotto. Unless I catch a fish in time, but I don't know. Probably not. Found some extra wood. That's aside from the stuff that I had before that's still in my uh, vestibule there. I want to make sure I have enough for breakfast in the morning, too. Tell you one thing about being at 5,000 feet water takes freaking forever to boil. At any rate. Got some uh, twigs stocked up. We'll see how long those last me. I'll probably go to bed early anyway. I am going to prepare my hang for my food because it's going to be getting dark soon. I don't want to have to fiddle around too long. I'm thinking that snag right there is going to be my best bet. Nothing else really has any branches. Not that that's much to speak of, but maybe it'll be enough to deter one of them bears from trying to get at my stuff. <sighs> See it is to grab a handful of blueberries right now. This is crazy. No wonder there's bears. They're not ready to go to sleep yet. Anyway, just realized I need a little more cordage to make this work, so I gotta run back over to my camp. Just waiting for my uh, risotto to cool off. I've got the bear's head tooth in there. I'm trying to kind of dry my socks out a little bit. That's how we're doing on time. Put my pole back in the water. And uh, no bites yet. I don't think I'm in the right part, but with the wind the way it is, I can't cast out any farther. So I don't know, maybe I'll do some more tomorrow, but whatever. Ravens. See? They were going nuts a little while ago. I don't know if there was a cougar around or what, but they were all kind of swarming around and cawing and cawing. I don't know, I didn't see anything. I'm in a big open area. Whatever. Not really that worried about it. Look at that though. I just realized I did this whole sequence walking over here talking about how I put my dishes in my food bag for the first time ever, blah, 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 blah. And the whole time I was on time lapse. So there's my food bag. up and away. All right, I'm gonna hang it a little higher and tie it off, but I need both hands. Bye-bye. There it is. Let's cross our fingers that that works. What do we got here? Some sort of mushroom. And more Amanitas. Mm. 
barely even see my tent. What a scene. It is about 10 after 7. I've been awake for a little bit, actually. I'm just kind of dreading putting on wet socks and getting up. It's chilly. But I also got to pee, so it's got to be done. <sighs> By the way, this trichology pillow that I've been using for a while, I've had to reinflate this thing about once every hour all night. Uh, kind of not so thrilled with it anymore. So, yeah, FYI there. And, like I said, the two person tent. One person. Anyway. Yeah, it's about time I should probably get up. Ugh. Load it up. No trace left. Heading out. It is 8.32. I dreamt about bears for half the night, by the way. It was strange. I, I dreamt that I was here, but the surrounding area was different. There were other people from my life around. So oddly, I can't remember who offhand. And then there was like just dozens of bears. It was just lovely. No, no nightmares. I'm not scared of them. I love them. According to my thermometer on my backpack and adjusting for how much I know that it's off, it's about 35 degrees. Yo, bear! I just scared another one. I didn't see that one, but why did I hear him? Anyway. That's a bear print right there. See, more of that stuff going on. Oh. Where, bear? There, bear. Care, bear? Maybe. Nair bear? No, they'd get cold. Ugh. That tastes like coffee. Anybody have a good Raven Translator app? I'd like to know what they're saying. Nevermore, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's that big old meadow from yesterday. God, what a cool place. What a cool place. Not dog. Not dog. Not super fresh. Probably from yesterday.
Not a particularly big one either. Also not dog, not cat, bear. I think I might be slightly ill. I've been like hot, cold all morning. Sweaty, cold, runny nose, a little out of it. <sighs> this is not gonna be the easiest five mile hike I ever done. A 5,000 feet elevation. I'll be all right. This was a trail that threw me for a second on my way in. Let's see, Lamai Trail. When I was going to Lamai Lake, this doesn't go to Lamai Lake. That way, this goes to Lamai Rock, which is a viewpoint that's not going to do me an awful lot of good. Maybe another time in fairer weather. That one's quite fresh. Quite fresh. Very small. Very small. Some of those tracks I've been seeing are pretty small too. Yearlings, I suppose. Maybe they want to be friends. There's room in the back seat. Bears, beets. Battlestar Galactica. Some more and more cougar tracks. Meow, meow, meow. If I've been paying attention properly, I'm probably about three quarters of the way back to the car now. Which is good. I'm kind of done with walking. I'm hot and sweaty, but cold. At least it's not raining. Something's taking hold on me. I just want to go home. I had a great time, though. Awesome time. Oh, I've been going down this for a bit. This is... But I had to go up yesterday. Don't whoop my ass. This 1.7 miles is just straight up uphill nonsense. Let's see if we can get an angle. Yeah. That's about the slope of it, I guess. Ugh. Oddly, my legs are probably burning worse now than they were yesterday. They didn't hurt at all last night. Set of muscles. Uh, I'll be happy when I'm back to the car. Oh, show. Another little pro tip, by the way. I use a dry bag for my food bag, which, since they're pretty much airtight, pretty well locks out the scent. So that deters anything from even wanting to get at your food to begin with. My food bag was left completely alone. So, yeah, use a dry bag. And you shouldn't really have to worry about, you know, scent proof liners, turkey bags, whatever the heck it is you use. Try it. There goes another solo hiker. Gal, I just stopped and talked to her for a second. She was coming up behind me, startled me. I keep watching out for cougars. I hear like, oh my god, what's that behind me? It was okay. She didn't see any bears. I saw bears. Ha! I have officially left the wilderness. Not too much farther out now. Unless something exciting happens from this point, I don't really see an awful lot of reason to film anymore. So, thanks for watching if you made it this far. 
Thanks for nothing if you didn't. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff if you feel like it. If you don't, then don't. I'll live. I'm making videos for myself at this point. If you enjoy them too, fantastic. Love it. Appreciate it. If you don't, don't watch. I don't care. So, see you on the next one, guys. Bye. I guess there was something interesting. Oh. Okay, see, from the top, I thought that might have been a portobello. I don't remember what these ones are. That's something I'll have to look into when I get home.